in today's video. I'm gonna make an LS unboxing. <laughs> I'm so excited because this item was on my wish list forever. I was not decided on if I wanted to buy it or not, and especially which color. And it was not available on the website, or it was, but then I was not decided, then it was not available in store. And, you know, life happens. And so I was like, mm, should I buy it now or not? And then it was not supposed to be like happening now, but one of my clients, because uh, if you don't know me yet, don't hesitate to click on the follow buttons, of course. It was on my wish list. I wanted this year to buy it, but not necessarily now. And so one of my clients, because I have my own website where I sell you luxury handbags and accessories pre-loved, bamluxurystore.com if you want to have a look. Um, but one of my clients uh, contacted me through the website and told me like, I have this to sell, I would like to sell it, how much could you buy it for me? Or uh, in consignment, how much, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, oof, wow. The price was not too much. I was like, okay, it's fine uh, for me. But if I wanted to sell it, I would have to um, negotiate with her to lower the price because it was a bit expensive for me to sell it to you. Because I need to add, like, I need to add VAT about my price and my commission, of course, because I work, I don't work for free, <laughs> uh, and we do have like charges, commissions, fees, and everything. Breath, uh, a business, I would say, life of business, business life. But uh, so. As I was like thinking, should I keep it up for me? If I keep it for me, I don't need to negotiate because it's very good price, but I don't know. And in the end, I told her, okay, I'm just gonna buy it from you. It will be for me and I kept it. So, okay, let's see what's inside. So I do have the box for this one. It's a pre-loved item, but it's brand new. Like it's, she bought it. She thought she would wear it like a lot, but in the end she never wore it because it's a specific color. And she wears a lot of black and never this type of color, so she never wants it. And I still have the sticker on it. It's crazy. So I do have the box and the dust bag, but that's it. I don't have the paper bag, for example, or I don't have the um, invoice, but I don't mind having the invoice. It doesn't mean anything anyway. So let's open this. Oh, look at this. This is, ooh, I do have like the small dust bag. It's very cute, by the way. So I do have here the Kelly Belt Gold on Gold, guys. So excited. This was, I think, my number one on my wish list, like Gold on Gold, because I do have the Picotin Gold on Gold, so it, it's going to fit perfectly, you know. But I was also hesitating with gold and rose gold um, hardware, and I was also hesitating with the black one, black version, and the gray one. I guess I want them all, kind of. And also I saw exactly the same, but with the Pop H, I believe, green. Oh, insane. So here it is. This is the Kelly belt. I know it's seen everywhere. I know everyone has it, but I was hesitating with this one and the Pop H and the classic ones, less seen everywhere, but I wanted this one. And when I had the opportunity to buy it from my clients, I was like, okay, it's now the moment. It was a sign for me to get this belt. So I did, I still have like the stickers on it everywhere. I need to remove them and uh, it's brand new. I never like, I, I did not wear it so far. I, I've been waiting for the unboxing because I have it like for a week now and I did not open the box yet. I was really waiting. I just opened the box to check the bell, but I did not use it so far. I was waiting for me to unbox it here on this YouTube channel. So here it is. I'm super excited. Do you have this belt? Do you wear it a lot? What do you think about this belt? I think like this uh, part is a bit annoying. It's cool because it's adjustable, but I don't know. It's like mm, weird. I, I feel like I need to understand how it's working. But what do you think about this belt? If you have it, let me know your advice, your tips. What do you truly think about this? If it's worth the price or not? Concerning the price, price in store for this belt is around almost a thousand euro. It's insane, a thousand euro almost. Next year, they will increase uh, uh, like from the 1st of January and it will pass through the 1,000, 1K euro, of course. But uh, personally, I bought it for 750 euros. So, which is actually good because usually these kind of belts, second hand, even uh, brand new second hand, is sold the same price as in store or even a bit higher. 
So I'm very excited that I was able to keep a little bit my money, to save a bit my money uh, by buying this one from my clients. I'm sorry, because it was it would have been for you. <laughs> but I really wanted this one, so I decided to keep it. It was not exactly the best moment, but it's never a good moment. So I was like, yeah, fine, I'll buy it. <laughs> it was the first time that someone asked for a Kelly belt, like to sell a Kelly belt on my website. So I was like, it might not happen again. So maybe now was the time. Voila, here was my unboxing. Hope you liked it. What do you think about the belt? Let me know your advice or what do you think about it? If you have it, if you don't have it, do you want this kind of belt? Do you want me to source one for you or not? Let me know everything in the comment. Do not forget to click on the follow button. I'd be super happy to have you uh, on my YouTube channel. Here we talk about mostly luxury handbags, unboxing, uh, I sell my bags, a vlog sometimes when I travel. Anyway, I'd be super happy to have you part of this great adventure. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this YouTube channel. I'll see you very soon for another video on Wednesday normally. Anyway, bisous, bye bye.